want to break down the mechanics of a lunge in a way that directly applies to running and really having good stability and good control of your movements. So to start off with, as you start to come forward, you're bending a little bit at the ankle. If you have a lower leg injury, sometimes people want to come straight through, but you do want to start bending through your ankle just a little bit. So, and then as you come forward onto your forefoot, if you put your hand on the side of your butt, your glute med, you're going to start to feel your glute med engage as you come onto your forefoot. So, as you start coming forward even more, you want to roll off your toes, especially um, that big toe mound. So, again, bend a little bit through the ankle, feel that pressure throughout your forefoot, but really, or uh, especially through that big toe mound. And as you're coming through, you can place the hand on your glute med and you should feel it activate. So then this and these two things are what's gonna get you moving forward straight and not rotating. Turn my glute meat off and I wanna rotate like this. So glute meat on, working together with my foot, coming forward and then coming down. So as I come down, what or as you come down when you do this, you should notice that my knee, then my kneecap is angled towards my middle toes. It's not angled in like this, it is angled really in the middle of my toes. It's just exactly what you want for good form. So again, bending a little bit through the ankle, feeling my glute meat turn on as I go through my forefoot, especially the big toe, and then coming straight forward. One other thing you can do for a little bit more um, stability here is really kind of like brace your lower abs a little bit. And an easy way to do that is just to and you should feel your lower abs engage just a little bit, and all that should create good control. So a lot of times I'll do this um, for a pre-run warm-up, no weights or anything, just focusing on those things. So again, teaching really good motor patterns that apply to running. One more thing I quickly want to add, do this in front of a mirror so you can see that you're staying straight, you look nice and symmetrical. Um, I, you can use the waistband of your shorts to just make sure your pelvis is staying nice and stable as you go down. So little tip just to make sure you're doing everything correctly. You know, when we don't do it in front of a mirror, we think we're moving well. Um, but that's not always the case, especially if you've had some asymmetries or maybe not ideal movement patterns for a long time. So always use a mirror. And then when you look in the mirror, be kind to yourself.